So now that we have our pattern created, how can we make it and use it in other areas? Well, let's first see if we can change the pattern that's in the square or the fill. So I'm going to click on the fill for that and I'm going to change it to one of these mm, gradients. So here's these different gradients. You can click on them. They're kind of like the default ones. Some of them have transparency. Some of them just go to white. Uh, you can edit the colors by clicking on the gradient panel and you can change the way they look. Now, one of the things about this is what if I want, for example, this radial gradient to have the center not here in the middle? Well, that's where using the gradient tool while having that fill selected allows me to change it. So you see, I now can uh, squish it. I can stretch it out. I can grab this and change the direction of it within the area. So you can see how you can really change this. You can also see that when you get close to this line, it expands and you actually have colors. I can add a color to it. I'm going to add a color. I'm going to double click that color and then I actually get my a little color panel here with some of the presets I already have. I'm going to bring in, ooh, I don't like, I like that. Let's see, maybe something, ooh, that's good, like a red. Now, as you're moving this around, you can uh, change the position of that color. You can make it semi-transparent by uh, clicking on the color and then just changing the opacity. Let's see, so it's going transparent there. Now once you get it in like this, you can then go ahead and uh, grab, I guess, another fill for that area. So I'm going to just go ahead and collapse this down because I think I have a color where I want it to be. And what I'm going to do is add another fill to my square. Now it's going to do the same type. I'm going to change it though to be that last pattern I created. And yeah. I don't really like the way that looks. Not a problem. I'm going to click on Opacity. I'm going to change the way it fills. So right now it's blending to normal. I'm going to make it blend in a different way. So let's see what Overlay does. There we go. See, now I'm getting some pretty interesting colors coming through. You can look at it closely and you can see that there's a lot of interesting way the lines as whites ended up filling in too. And it changes as it gets over here. You can start to see those dots coming in even more. So you can see how this could become a pretty versatile fill. Now, uh, one of the keys to making a good gradient is to make sure that when you're making it, that you, you don't use such extremes. So what I'm going to do is take out this color here and change it to something not as extreme. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a tan. Some type of brown. I'm going to probably remove that color I took out earlier. So yeah, you don't want huge, you know, bright gradients and dark gradients. And the thing is, this isn't the only gradient I can put on here. I can put on another one. You know, that's the cool thing about the appearance panels. You click on your object, you add another fill, and this fill here, I'm going to make it be this gradient, and I'm going to modify that one as well. Let's see. So click on there, and let's see. Um, Take it to the middle, and let's fatten it up, and let's enlarge it outward, like so. And then for its fill and opacity, I'm going to have it be in multiply. Yeah. So you can kind of see how how that can change the way this looks. I'm going to take off some. Oh no, no, I don't want to do that. I'll undo that. And let's see. Maybe rotate this some. Um, once again, you grab that middle guy and rotate him. All right. And I'm just going to make this a little slower transition. There we go. Yeah, so honestly, not a lot of work. And you end up with a pretty nice pattern on your area. And then, then you, of course, you can use this in all sorts of things, um, you know, layering them up as you need. So... Um, see if you can create a pretty interesting gradient using the appearance panel. 
I want you to play with those gradients so that you can actually adjust the positioning of them to where they're not the standard in the middle or whatever, and you can change the direction of them and whatnot. Maybe even try out to see what a linear gradient does, because you could also add uh, a linear gradient on top, and let's see what that does. I'm going to have it be in overlay mode. Let's see. So, oh wait, I forgot. I need to click on my little guy, so I'm going to do that. Add another fill. And we'll put that in that mode. And I'll change it to overlay. Mm, yeah, very interesting. And uh, of course, you can also edit that gradient as well using the same method. You can um, make the gradient last a different length by maneuvering, maneuvering the transition. And you can see how that's changing the way it looks. The I click outside, I'm going to undo that. So you can kind of see how you can make these things work in tandem to create a pretty cool design.